Okay, welcome to another 3x3 intermediate example solves video. I'm going to start out again with two white cross solves and then three color neutral ones. Um, I've got these two white cross pieces here which are already attached to their centers and then these two on the, on the top here. So what I'm going to do is something like this. I'm going to do these two first. So I'm going to go L prime B L2 like that. Then these two I can do in a few different ways. I can either go U R prime F2 or to do a two generator, I can go D, R2 prime, D prime, R, like that. The first F2L pair that I see are these two. Um, there's also the possibility of doing this one and this one, um, which would be better if we, um, because it doesn't require rotation. So if I saw this, then I would probably do it like that into that slot. Then I've got these two back here. What I would probably do is rotate first and then split them up and insert. Then going over to here, there's a few different options. We've got either these two or these two. Um, doing these two are probably a decent option at the moment. So we can go like that and then solve these two like so. Then I've got an easy OLL and an F permutation. Okay, another cross on white, and this cross um, seems a little bit annoying. Um, there's a few different ways we can tackle it. Probably what I would do is rotate over to this position and do something like L, L2 prime D prime L to insert these two. So go L2 prime D prime L. And then to finish off the cross and flip this one, I would go R YD prime R like that. And my first F12 pair that I see, are these two pieces which can be easily inserted like that. Then we've got, well, we've got a few different options. Um, I don't know necessarily whether, whether it would be that easy to do in a solve, but I'd probably do these two next without a rotation. And then these two belong in the front left slot, which is very easy. Then I've got these two which can go in the back right slot. So that F2L well was rotationless, but the look ahead would have been really, really tough in an actual speed solve. And then I've got OLL, and then PLL, a U permutation. Okay, the next three solves will be color neutral as always. Um, we can have a look around to see what we have. I think probably the easiest cross to execute based off a quick look at the cube is green. So I can do something like D prime L and then with these two I can go R prime F R prime like that. So that would have been yeah pretty easy and pretty quick to execute in a solve. Then the first F2L well pair that I see is these two which belong in this slot. So I can rotate like that and solve them there. Then I've got these two and noticing that um, before I insert these two I notice I've got this pair here as well. And actually when I insert this F2L pair, this pair will come out into the top layer and it won't be affected. So pair that up, this one's over here. So I'm just tracking that as I go and then I'll immediately rotate and insert that one. Then my last F2L pair is here. Then I've got OLL. And then PLL. So I'm going to do the U permutation with the block at the front here, which is a different algorithm. So now, if you only know one U permutation algorithm, um, you might have to do the U2, then do the U permutation, then U2 at the end. But there's algorithms for, mul for multiple angles for most PLL cases. So this is the U permutation with the bar at the front here, which goes like that. Okay, in this next solve we're going to have a look around to see what looks easy. I've got two white cross pieces oriented, but the other two are misoriented on the top here and they're not solved correctly relative to one another, so I wouldn't go for that. And I probably wouldn't go for the blue. Oh, the blue's okay, but actually what I saw was that green was a very easy cross, just four moves. So I can insert this one, this one, and this one by doing F. Actually, probably what I would do is hold the cross on the front here and then do something like u wide r prime 
R prime, D prime, which makes it a little bit easier to execute. The first F2L pair that I see that I can do without a rotation is this edge and this corner down here. I'll do that a bit more slowly. So these two, R prime U R, and then insert it. And as I was doing that, I noticed I had this F2L pair down here and this edge is here. So I can insert that one as well in the same manner. Now I've got a couple of different options. I can either go for this F2L pair, which is a little bit tricky to finger trick, or I can do these two into this front left slot, which I would probably do like that. Then I've got this easy F2L case for my last pair. Then I've got OLL and a Y permutation. And we're solved. Okay, looking at this scramble, there's various different options. Um, red looks reasonably easy, blue looks reasonably easy, orange looks reasonably easy, so I think there's not going to be a huge difference in terms of move count um, with regard to which cross color we choose. So it's better off just choosing one and then trying to inspect as much as possible. Um, let's just go with blue here. So I've got this one, this one, this one, and this one. So if I do something like a UD, like that, then I've got these two solved relative to one another, but this one isn't, and this one is here. So I can go white L, D2, R prime, D prime, like that. Now for my first F2L pair, I'd probably go for these two. So I might rotate like this, pair them up, and insert them into the back. Then I've got a few different options. I can go for these two next, probably. So I would take out the corner, like that, set them up, rotate again, insert them into the back right slot there. Then I've got this one and this one as my next pair. So I'll probably rotate yet again, insert it into the back right position. Then I've got this uh, F2L case where I just need to insert one edge. Now I have OLL and J permutation for PLL. So pretty easy last layer.